Summer is here. A favorite season among many. Unless you're into fashion, you can't wear, you can't wear jackets or pants, and if you do, you end up looking like a boomer at a barbecue. Or can you without looking like a boomer? I thought it impossible to comfortably wear a suit, jacket, or pants in the brutal heat of the summer until I saw the boys in Naples were not only the best dressed men in the world, but they did it in the heat of those southern Italian summers. So the answer is yes, it can be done. And if done right, then your summer style can be not only sartorially satisfactory, but it can look better than all the other sartorial seasons. So with that being said, I'm gonna give you the absolute essential tips that you need to layer with elegance in the brutal heat of the summer, as we have virtually the same summers as Naples, Italy, and today it is 90 degrees out. So perfect day tested. Let's go. Tip number one is super important, and it's just a good reminder for your expectations of this. Once it gets into the 90s and 100s, you're just going to be hot, no matter what you wear or don't wear. So don't think you're gonna be perfectly comfortable or anything. Hot is hot, especially if it's really humid and there's no breeze. So these things won't make you cooler per se, but they'll just prevent you from getting any hotter. Just thought I need to clarify that. Tip number two is choosing the right fabric. But because we're just talking about outer layers like jackets and pants and not shorts and shirts, you're essentially gonna look at mainly two fabrics because I'm not gonna even include a tropical wool. You can use that, but it's mainly linen and cotton. Now these do apply to shirts and shorts as well, but you have more options with shirts like rayon, whereas for jackets, you don't at the moment. Now linen is synonymous with summer and heat. I mean, it's one of the oldest friggin' fabrics in human use. And you know, the ancient Egyptians and the Mesopotamians, they used it extensively because they knew about its cooling properties. I mean, you can make anything out of linen, shirts, pants, shoes even, and suits. Oh man, linen suits. But unfortunately for me, I don't have a linen suit. But fortunately for you, my buddy Benjamin does. And he, the dude's a sartorial genius. And he's actually gonna show you some outfit ideas on how to wear linen the right way. So take it away, my boy. What was that? Ah, I know. <laughs> Probably my friend Demetrius Levi filming again. So gentlemen, let's talk about linen. When I incorporate linen into my outfits, I always keep two main characteristics of the fabric in mind. First, linen is a textured fabric, and that's great. Just compare this melange-like pair of linen trousers with this Super 150's wool fabric. You can clearly see the difference. And second... <laughs> and second, linen wrinkles. This truly is something I had to get used to. Elegance for me has always been looking as crisp and tidied up as possible, but over the time I discovered how sophisticated the wrinkles in linen actually are. It is a part of the fabric and it doesn't make it look worse or something. Getting wrinkles into your linen jackets or trousers isn't something you should be afraid of, it's something you should look forward to. So for me, linen is a more casual fabric than, for example, wool. During a business event or any formal occasion, I'm required to look as professional as possible and in my opinion, linen does not necessarily provide that. For a day at an office with a very strict dress code, I would personally prefer a light wool suit or a fresco fabric or even a cotton and silk blend, for example, because all these fabrics do not wrinkle as easily as linen does. And that's also why I think that you don't really need a linen suit. But on the other hand, I think that you should definitely get one if you don't already own one. Why? Because you can easily break your linen suit up. In my humble opinion, linen is perfect for less formal occasions. Yes, I know there are tuxedos made out of linen and wearing a linen suit as a groom at a wedding, for example, is perfectly acceptable. But all in all, it gives an elegant yet kind of cool and laid back look. Breaking a linen suit up and wearing the trousers or the jacket as separates is the way to go for me personally. 
Yes, I know, I talked about breaking suits up all the time and now I even wear a full three-piece suit. I still have to say, I like it. Yes, I do. I may not wear an outfit like that very often, but it's still nice. By the way, the pocket square is also made out of linen, so it's a fabric that you can't only use for suits or jackets or trousers, also for accessories. As I mentioned, I mostly tone the formality down when I include linen into my looks. Here you see the pair of trousers I took from the suit I showed you before, but I combined it with this cotton linen silk jacket and another necktie. Way more casual than before, but still dressy enough to make an impression. Oh, and I could also layer the matching waistcoat on top of this ensemble. My third and last look for today is the most casual of the three. I completely dumped the jacket. I dump your ass. And put on a striped linen shirt. I love to combine simple outfits like that with some more accessories, so I decided to wear my Panama hat and some bracelets. All that said, please let me quote Tom Ford for a second. Style and fashion should enhance your life and not cause you more stress. What do I want to point out by saying that? This was just my way of combining linen and you can do it in a completely different way and it's absolutely fine. I'm also going to relax for a little bit now, listen to some good music. So, thank you Demetrius of course for having me in this video, it was great, great experience, great opportunity and ladies and gentlemen, have a nice day and we'll see each other hopefully on my Instagram account. <laughs> Ciao! Papa bless my homie. Guys, if you haven't checked out Benjamin's channel yet, please do and give him some love. The guy absolutely knows what he's talking about. He has an amazing website with all these topics and an incredible Instagram. So I have all those linked in the description below so you guys can go check it out. Please do. So while linen is my personal favorite fabric in the whole world, not everybody loves those beautiful wrinkles and like Benjamin mentioned, that it might not be appropriate for work wear. But that's okay my friends, because cotton is a great alternative. But at the same time, cotton wrinkles almost just as easily and not as elegantly. So why even mention cotton in the first place? Because the key to staying cool is not all about the type of fabric used, but how loose the weave of that fabric is, which is tip number three. When you have a looser weave like fresco or knitted, not only does it create an awesome texture, but it allows for much more air to pass through, thus cooling you down. Plus, the wrinkles on a knitted woven cotton aren't as apparent, so win-win. But the same applies with linen. You can have a lightweight but tight weave linen or a heavier weighted and looser woven linen. And most of the times, the latter is going to be the better. See, it's not about the weight of the fabric. That's a big misconception. It's all about the looseness or tightness of the weave. So even though this shirt is linen and super lightweight, I sweat much more easily in it than in this heavier linen shirt, which is much better at keeping me cool. It's all about airflow, which is also why you don't wanna wear anything super tight. Always in the summer, make sure that your clothing is at least a little looser to allow air to flow through. Another great option for cotton is seersucker. You know what the conductors wear? Mm -mm. <laughs> the puckering does a fantastic job at keeping the body cool. It's all science. Or if you want the best of both worlds, you can get a blended fabric, like a blend of linen and cotton or linen and silk. Ooh, baby, how elegant. Ooh. <laughs> oh. I don't know what the hell that is. <laughs> now this beautiful double-breasted blazer from Taliatori is absolutely insane at keeping me cool. I feel no difference at all when I take my jacket off or on. And even though I said that these won't make you cooler per se, I feel slightly cooler when I wear this. I have no idea why. But it's not only the weave that's actually keeping me cool in this, it's because it's also utilizing tip number four, which is is that it's unconstructed. There's no shoulder pads or lining at all, so it's as light and airy as possible. Now, I wouldn't be able to feel the breeze at all if this had lining or padding in it. I mean, think about it. It's just an extra layer of fabric and padding that is stopping the airflow from reaching your skin. So yeah, it's gonna make you warmer. 
and while I do believe that yeah double breasted might not be the best option because it's an extra layer of fabric that's folded over like Benjamin noted since this has such a loose loose weave on it I really don't feel that much of a difference plus I wear it open half the time because you know sprezzatura <laughs> I'm also Sicilian it's 90 degrees out but I have the perfect layered summer outfit using all the tips here linen Gurkha trousers and a knitted cotton jacket with Belgian style loafers and a t-shirt underneath now the exposed ankles really cool me down the pants though these ones were made too tight for me personally they still do a better job at keeping me cool than most shorts because most shorts are actually lined and they only really cool your legs below the knees but with these I feel the cool breeze all the way up my thighs and I got a jacket that feels like I'm not wearing one at all Plus, all these are utilizing tip number five, which is wearing light colors. Now, most of you may already know, but it still goes without saying that the darker the color, especially black, the more heat it absorbs and it retains. Whereas the lighter the color, especially white, the more heat it reflects. So it's best to go with light colors. Now, if you do wear something dark, that's fine. You know, you got still got your navies and even black, but just make sure that all the other tips are utilized if you're going to go for a darker color. You see, I really studied summer style because I really wanted to nail my personal ultimate vibe, which is nautical Mediterranean lifestyle and vacation, dude. Think Naples or even Nafplio, my favorite city of all time. Please go there if you can. And now not only do I feel those vibes wherever I go in outfits like this, but I'm as comfortable as I can possibly be while doing it. Salute to Benjamin from Sartorial Style for actually being in this video with me. He's got that amazing channel, so please go check him out and give him some love. And let me know in the comment section down below if you have any tips of your own to beat the heat while still layering in the summer. And if you guys could please like and subscribe if you haven't already and share this video and spread it out to the world because it'd be my dream to do this full time for you guys. And if you're still not convinced about getting a jacket like this, and then go watch my 50s parody video about jackets like this. Adios us boys, or better yet, arrivederci. Cheers. Mm, I'm normally a red wine fan, but oh, Moscato hits the spot. Oh.